November 17th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I've got another video for you. What are we going to talk about? Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about cult groups, church groups, crime, drugs, and fire trucks and AMR. Now, over the past three years, there's been lots of things that have happened. And uh, some of these AMRs that was out here in Independence were questionable. I mean, there were some weird things going on. They were sitting in some of these houses that actually, that actually were some people dealt drugs, but they weren't taking people off. Like they were take, grabbing them and taking them to the hospital like they OD'd. They were hanging out there. And I did some videos on YouTube and posted these videos. There was one time that they were down here a couple times down here by this meth recovery place. There's a house next door. And I guess it's a house where they the, some of them are recovering at, even. Which is even more weird because this one, it had an outside like cage on this house, like where like somebody would pull their car. So like somebody was scared of whoever else was living in this house or whatever. Very strange, guys. So, where am I going with this? Well, the thing of this is, some of these uh, AMR, some of these uh, firefighters are hooked into other different, like, cult groups, like uh, witchcraft and uh, neo-Nazis and uh, drugs, stuff like that. And not all the firefighters are like that. And there's good firefighters out there. Um, a while back, I had ran across one. I had a, my battery had died and I got a jump start from one. But he was, he worked out here in Independence. See, the ones I'm talking about is over here in Kansas City, Missouri, up the road several miles. And, uh, it is kind of strange. And, uh, we had many, many runs out here. Now this, you know, during the pandemic, there was total chaos, you know. And uh, a lot of things went on. People didn't even realize what was going on on top of all this, too, because, uh, you know, there was a lot of businesses. Many, many businesses were lost here in Kansas City and in Independence. But there was two things that in Independence that thrived. One was this uh, floor place that went in down here that almost, uh, by strike and spare, that's supposed to be connected in certain other groups here in Kansas City that uh, almost look like a militia. I got videos of, uh, I mean, it was some of these guys, they were sitting there in black hats and black outfits, and there was bikers up there and a little bit of everything. I had a helicopter that was flying overhead all day long. That, well, I guess they, it goes up to Parkville up there too and stuff. But this, this group, this group thinks they can just get away with anything. And uh, I just thought that was just really kind of weird. I had contact the FAA, too, about that helicopter, too. We did a lot of conversation about that helicopter. But we'll go on from there. There was a lot of stuff that, like I say, was going on at this time. But I want everybody to remember one thing. There are two places here at Independence that uh, thrived while everybody else was being crushed. One was this floor place up here, up here where Strike and Spare is. Two was this food facility. It went in supposedly, it, it's, I guess it's a food facility up here where the old Bible, where the old Sam's was at. Always keep that in mind, guys, because uh, how did it, they have the money and stuff to push and just keep going when everything else fell apart. And what was the agenda in that? So I want to get that, that out there. But getting back to this deal about the firefighters, I we've had fire trucks that go up and down sometimes. They don't even look like they're on a run. They just, you know, blare their sirens and horns and stuff. Now, I know Kansas City, Missouri goes up here to High V. That's their hangout. That's where they go get their food and all their other stuff. But this morning today, again, it's it's been quiet because a while back I posted a deal and uh, they were making many runs at night. I mean, three, four runs in an hour. 
I bet I bet there wasn't no log of four in an hour. But this still today is morning halfway. Was going a westward bound, and, the, and they were only driving about twenty or twenty five miles an hour up the street, and they had their sirens blaring and their lights going. But the, they that's the slow that's fast as they were going. There was a couple cars that pulled off, but it wasn't like they had any major traffic issues or anything. I do have a problem, like I say, with the, the these people here because some of them are dirty, some of them do promote the drugs. AMR, definitely, I have showed videos of these setting at these locations. And, uh, you know, if you were on the clock, I mean, it would be like a, let's, let's do it this way. If a police officer vehicle was a setting in a, a stripper joint parking lot, would, would you think that's okay for, to be indefinite? Or if he went in the stripper joint, just hung out for two hours? Why was this AMR... Some of these AMR vehicles sitting at these drug houses where it was known that they dealt drugs, but they weren't doing anything. They weren't there to take somebody that was sick or ill. That's weird. That's weird. Some of this stuff here in Kansas City needs to be investigated. But I'm going to show this deal about this fire truck. And uh, like I say, there's cult groups. Some of these things are mixed with uh, also witchcraft. Neo Nazis and uh, neo Nazi. There's a big neo Nazi bunch here in Kansas City. Big group, witchcraft. And uh, only reason I know that because I took a tarot card class way back many many years ago, and it led into also witchcraft groups and other groups. And this one guy got into it with this guy that went to this uh, place called Camp Gaia, and uh, this guy's name was Stinson. And this other guy, he was like one of the head dogs that ran a meetup group. The him and that guy got into it. But he was sitting there and he was telling me one night that he said, he said they paid out lots and lots of money because the FBI was always watching them. Well, I guarantee the FBI needed to be watching them. No doubt. A lot of, a lot of activists, a lot of bad guys. I even showed a while back, I did a video. I, I actually had a paper from there that way back that showed that I had even went up there to, to prove what I'm saying is true. So I'm going to show this fire truck going up the street. I don't know. It didn't go anywhere, what I could see. And then, then sirens went off. So I don't know what the deal was. And uh, I had my body cam on me. As it went up the street. But they seem like they like to make a lot of noise. Just like the boomers that deal the drugs out here. This isn't about running to a, a car wreck. This isn't about running to a uh, fire. You couldn't have that many fires. So hold on guys. You can see how slow they're going up. This, this isn't going real fast. I know it's jerky because I had it in my hand. I walk on down because I want to see if, you know, are they going to stop? Because they were only doing about 15 or 20. Now, what would be the point of that? That's interesting, isn't it? Let's do that one more time. I want to show that one more time. It's just. See, it wasn't hardly moving. Interesting. Right, guys i'm back i wanted to show that like i say i think there's a lot of things here that need to be investigated and uh i think some of this too this to me is just a form of harassment this uh, you know a few weeks back i actually put out the time of every time they came down through here i would just like to 
go back and look at that and see if that matched every one of those runs that supposedly would make up that call or not. I bet they don't. I bet they don't. And this, going back up towards their place, I, uh, 15, 20 miles an hour, is that protocol for something like that? I don't know. I mean, our good tax dollars at work here in Kansas City and Independence, Missouri, right, guys? Like I say, I don't think all firefighters are bad. I think there's a lot of good firefighters. But there are some that are intertwined with the dark side and the Satanism, the neo-Nazism. And I uh, wanted to get that out there. So uh, I got several other videos coming. Early this morning, up by Gordman's, there was a, a couple young people that was kind of huddled down in a, over by a concrete kind of like piece over there by Gordman's. To think, you know, all this stuff is nothing. Let's show what Independence of Kansas City in this area is about. These people are supposed to be getting help. Now, these two people look like they were pretty young. They look like in their early 20s. And it just amazes me. But they have a tendency to go to this Gordman's parking lot where the drugs are dealt, where the others. I mean, and they all know that. And it just seems like they just keep letting this happen. And uh, it's something Independence needs to look at. I mean, I've seen them talk on the council about this. I heard one of the guys one night said they wish they had both all those buildings gone and just fields up there. Because it, it, it's brought so much bad stuff. And it is bringing bad stuff. It just keeps bringing bad stuff. But I will be showing this. And uh, this was early this morning. And uh, it just made me think, well, where would these two young people be when it gets to zero? And then what's the, the drugs still drive all this stuff, guys. It ain't just about homeless, but the, they're hooked into the drugs. And if none of this is taken care of, it just keeps going on. It just keeps festering. Maybe the fire truck could go down there. And maybe they could go up. Maybe they could get a couple of biscuits at a high V and take it down there to them and feed them or something. I don't know. But I am going to show that. And uh, this is Independence. This is Kansas City. So uh, keep your eyes open and uh, stay safe out there.